Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Shapiro Feature Walkthroughs. I'm joined today by Yosef, our Shapiro PP of products. So how are you today, Yosef? Doing well, Dan. How are you? Awesome. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. So today, Yosef would walk us through a great Shapiro feature. Put it away. That's right. That's right. It's a new feature. Uh, just coming out with it. So excited to walk you through it. Yeah, so put away is a new feature for the mobile app. And what it allows you to do is build a workflow around putting inventory away. So whereas right now you may take inventory from your receiving location or for you know where it is in storage and just do inventory transfers, this allows you to build a list of what needs to be put away and it walks you through putting that inventory away. So as you'll see, we'll show you what needs to be replenished, where else that inventory might be now, and it makes that process a lot easier um, and more accurate. So we can just jump into the mobile app um, and I'll kind of show you how that works. One thing to note is that this is for dynamic slotting only. So if you're on a static slotting account, this wouldn't be a feature available to you. If you do want to switch to dynamic slotting, you reach out to us and we can help walk you through that process. Good to know. So as you can see on the mobile app, there's a new option in the product section called put away. And when I go there, I have my, my uh, put away screen and to start a put away, I need to scan something. Um, and that can either be a location that has products in it or an individual product. So to take an example, I'm going to scan a receiving location. And you can see there's three products in that location currently. So it's added those three products. I have my scarf, my gloves, and my hats. It has the quantity in that location. So that's what's currently in receiving. Um, and it shows me other information. So you notice that first one scarf, it says I need to replenish that, that replen tag. And that three that you see on the right side, that's how many I need to replenish. So this is telling me right away that this product needs to be put in the picking location. So whereas maybe I'm going to put some away uh, in my overstock, I need three replenished. Those need to be picked. Um, so it's telling you right away that at least three of those need to be put in a, a picking location. Now from here, I can actually add other products as well. So once I scan one location, I can scan additional locations and add products or I can scan an individual product. So for example, if I scan, I have a snow shovel, that'll add that to my list. Now, if that product is in multiple locations, it'll ask you where you're getting it from. And we'll look at that later as well. So once I have my list ready, you can see right now, this list is in draft. That's on the upper left there. I can start my put away. And all I do is tap on the start put away. And now it's taking me into that put away flow. Now, the way this works is I take the first product I need to scan it or tap on it. And it asks me, where do we, where am I going to put that inventory? Where do I want to actually put that away? So it does show you where it's currently. And so this product is currently in A1 and there's five of them. So you'll see it says SKU scarf units five. That means there's five units of the scarf already in A1. Um, A1 has other things and you can see to the left of that it says there's 153 units. So that gives you some information about what else might be in the bin or and how many other units or how many other products are in that bin. We also show you empty locations. So there's just one here, but you'll see any product, any locations anywhere else that are empty. And we will tell you if that's an unpickable location. So in this case, this is an empty, unpickable, you know, overstock location, and it's available for me to, to transfer to. So let's say I want to put that inventory um, in my A1 bin. I'll just tap on that or scan the, the bin barcode. And then I can tell how many I'm going to put in that bin. So that happens here um, with that little pencil icon, or you can scan. So I can scan that product barcode to count it or manually edit how many I'm putting in. And to make it quick, I can just hit all, and that will put all 75 in the A1. So once I've done that, you can see that, you know, that, that product gets moved to the bottom, it gets grayed out so you know you're finished, and I've put 75 in A1. Now, if I take the next product, or let's say I want to do my gloves, I'll scan my gloves barcode. And by the way, I can also scan a case barcode. So I scan the gloves case that I might have, you know, um, and it does the same thing. So again, mm -hmm. it brings up my location list. This is in A10. And let's say in this case, I want to put some in A10 and maybe I'll put some in another location. So first I'll scan A10 to say I'm putting some in there. And then I'm going to scan um, a couple of my case barcodes. So you'll see the put away number is going to increment as I scan. So this case barcode is a 10, 10 case. 
And as I scan, it's right. incrementing that. And I can, I can also scan the individual barcode as well. So the unit barcode. So that's one. Now, if I, if I say scan the wrong product, you know, that'll, that'll alert me as well. Now, if I try to add more than I actually have, so if I'm just scanning and not really paying much attention, it will warn me. So I can't actually add more than, than I have. So I'll scan the, the case barcode. Once it got to 92, adding 10 would be more than the 100 that I have. So it won't let me. Now, if I want to put some in one location and some in another, just tap on that split item, put away. So that's going to take the 92 that I, I already added, put it in that location, and then prompt me for the other location that I want to put the inventory in. So here I'm going to add just, you know, it's the receiving two bin. And now it asks me, okay, how many am I putting in that location? And you'll notice that location is marked off on the, to the right of the picture there, receiving two. That's the location I indicated. I can change that just by tapping on that. And then it'll show me locations again, and I can just you know, choose that again. So in this case, I'm just gonna put the rest away there. It knows I have eight left. It'll put those eight away. And again, as you'll see that product is then moved to the bottom. We do show that it was done in two different locations. So I put eight in receiving two and 92 in eight. Now at this point, if I'm done put away, for whatever reason, I don't wanna put these away. I can incomplete, everything is, is saved. So in other words, the ones I put away are, are put away. Um, if I mark it as complete, the other two products that I didn't do yet will be taken off the list and I can always you know, start another another put away to, to put those away. But what I've done is saved, you know, that's not going to be lost. So now that we've done these, um, let's look at the other way where instead of scanning location, I scan a product and see what that looks like. So I'm going to hit complete, even though I haven't put everything away. I'll just mark complete, give me a summary, and I can go back to put away if I want to put away more product. So I'm going to scan my hats barcode and Hats is in two different locations. So since I scanned the barcode of the product and not the location, you need to know where you're taking that inventory from. So I've scanned hats and it's showing me now what locations are assigned to that SKU. So I have A1 with this 50 and receiving with this 50 as well. So I need to choose where am I transferring inventory from. So this can be used not, not only for put away from receiving, but if you're putting away um, or replenishing as well. So I can build a list of my replenishments um, and I just need to tell where I'm taking it from. So in this case, Let's say I'm taking it from receiving, confirm that. And again, I can just scan other locations or other products to build my list. And from here, the process is the same. So just that first step of determining where you're taking inventory from is different. But once you have that list, it's the same process, whether you're doing it from products or from locations. And that's that's really the put away feature. Um, again, the, the real strong use case for this is receiving um, and replenishment. You could also use it for even aggregating products if you're just adding a list of products you're transferring. Um, but this should make the process of moving inventory around the warehouse um, a lot more, um, more streamlined. Um, one thing to note that we're working on um, probably for early next year is a more guided put away where we'll actually suggest locations to put them. So for example, if you're receiving, you know, we'll use different rules and, and you know, different criteria to say this should be put in location they want, the location, you know, you know your overseas right. locations. And that'll be based on many different factors. We're still working out what that'll be based on and how that'll work. Um, but that's something we want to layer on top of this put away to actually make it more guided and, and suggest where to put the inventory. Awesome. Awesome, Yosef. So thank you very much for your explanation. And to everyone, if you'd like to check out uh, other feature walkthroughs, click on the top right corner right now. And if you're ready to unlock your e-commerce fulfillment superpowers, visit shapiro.com to schedule a call with us. Thank you very much for watching. And everyone, have a great day. Have a great day, Yosef. Thank you. You too.